All right, we're on. Hi guys, uh, here we are again. Um, <coughs> it's November 10th. Yep. Um, what time is it? 10.40 or so? Yeah, it's November 10th, around 10.40 in the morning, and uh, we're actually, and I'm actually going to attempt to boot the server off of USB. We've had some, there's been a bit of an issue lately, but uh, so I'm actually going to see So there's the server over there. Yep. Okay. It's kind of noisy when it starts up, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm hitting F12. Is the screen on? Yes. It just takes a while to come up. Oh, yeah, it's on. Power Edge. <laughs> You're funny. What? I like cool words. Yeah, it is. It's a Power Edge. Oh, and that's the hard drive running. Those Yay are my two for running hard drives. Those are my two my two very old ones. It's initializing something. Yeah. So we have another what you gonna call it on a flash drive that's plugged in, right? Yes. There's there's a Windows install on a flash drive here. Yes. And we're trying to get it to boot off that flash drive. And you're pressing F12 over and over again? Yes. Because that's mm -hmm. what you have to do to get the menu to pop up. Because mm -hmm. you have to hit F F12. What it is is it will say there's a list of different things. It will say F2 for system I didn't find anything in any of the in ports A through D. Port E, it found the DVD-ROM. Do you know what port your flash drive is in? I don't know. That's a bit of a problem. We might just have to wiggle it or put it in a different port. Hold on. Initializing remote access controller. See, this is what I'm saying. It's not supposed to do that. It's, it's supposed, not supposed to do what? You know what? Let me unplug this USB out of, out of here. Now, uh, whoops, I'm putting it in the wrong thing. And I'm probably getting nicely on camera here, but I don't really care. No, it's just the screen. You're actually more off camera than you were. Oh, okay, good. Because I need to find a USB port to, uh, Shut this in, and of course, and of course, do I remember where they are? There's not. Does this computer work? The Inspiron? Yes. Yeah. What if we like? Do you have normal files on the flash drive? Mm, no, it's just an install. Mm. Why? So it would be really easy to like just to make sure the flash drive is working. Plug the flash drive into a computer. We know. Well, no, 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 it, no, it. Um, mm -hmm. No, you, you can, you can plug, you can plug a flash drive in. It doesn't matter what's on it. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it was that particular port then. It's a front port. It should have recognized it. Yeah, it should. Well, it's like outlets stop working every once in a while. Well, we can, we can always try it again. Yeah, we might have to restart it. Yeah. Because right now it's initializing the access controller? Yeah. I need to figure out how to use IPMI on this thing. I Which is? I forget what that stands for. Integrated mm -hmm. Power... Oh wait, Integrated Power Management Interface, I think. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong on that. It's funny, because there's this agricultural technique called Integrated Pest Management. Right. Which is like the greenest way to use insecticides. Interesting. Now is this doing anything? Booting? What does it say? Initializing? It says that F11 is BIOS Boot Manager. So. Entering BIOS Boot Manager. Attempting PXE Boot. Press Control C to run SAS. Wait, it changed. Yeah, see, this is what's happening. It should <coughs> allow me to select a different device. Boot ROM successfully installed. Ethernet boot agent. We want to We want to boot from USB. That's what we yeah, want. Yeah, I do. know. Uh, it didn't find any. It didn't find in port A through D. There was no device found. Weird. Because I know the drive is bootable because I made it bootable. So it definitely should work. What's it doing now? 
initializing something initializing remote access controller I'm gonna try to zoom in so it's a little bit clearer yeah the, see this is what's going on it's not seeing my U, uh, my USB drive and it's very strange well either there's something wrong with the USB drive or there's something wrong with the port or let's see what are the other options which there's nothing wrong with neither because there's nothing wrong with either because I've had I've used this USB drive in this computer before and it recognizes it as you will see when I log into Windows uh, maybe it's like I don't know it's not a hardware problem and it's a software problem right yeah, so I hit F11, like I was supposed to, you know, to bring up, and then it should give you, like, a list of choices that's long enough for you to, you know, flip around and choose. Because what you're supposed to be able to do is you're supposed to be able to choose from, you know, different options. There's, well, what's weird is USB is actually part of the hard drive. Well, now let's see if it finds it now that I put it in a different port. What are you looking at? The calendar. It's pretty and it's got cool quotes on it. Alright, so now now that I switched the port, I'm going to try this Wait. again. What? It's at BIOS Boot Manager. Oh, Normal hard drive C embedded N I C M B A. So we're gonna go. So now, if I go down, right? Right. What am I on? Hard slot one, number two zero zero I D O O Ludo I, Dell Virtual Disk. If I arrow right, which I did, did it change? Nothing happened. No. And then there's a back USB that says simple drive, oh. and a back USB that says six four zero zero A A V external. Uh, back USB, it should say 6, I think it's the 6-4, alright. Okay, so you gotta go down one more, and now it's highlighted. So I don't know if you wanna hit enter or write. What did it do? It says, Windows did not shut down successfully. If this was due to the system not responding, or if the system was shut down to protect data, you might be able to recover by starting in safe mode. Where do you wanna start Windows normally? Um, we'll say start Windows normally, I so guess. So just hit enter. But see, that's not going to boot off the USB drive, though. That's going to boot normally. So it looks like it's booting. How do we know if it boots off the USB versus the... Well, here, the because if I did the image right, it will... Because if I did the image right, it will beep and then start up. Okay. And then I'll just leave it for a, for a film later. But see, that's that's starting Windows normally, isn't it? Kind of, Arnold. What? I don't know. What does it say? Nothing. It's black so far. Oh. It had a little bar that was like the thinking bar. Now it's got a mouse with a timer on it. But this is that wait time. Applying computer settings, local session manager, control alt delete to log on. Yeah, see, alright, so what I have to do is log on mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. see that the um, camera's still filming just the screen. Good. Mm -hmm. No, I hoped. See, I hope that oh. So, oh, alright. So we're logged in right now. And system access is going to start up, which doesn't really matter that much because... Did I get an error message up there? Looks like it says launching application. Uh, update available. Application update for Dell system detect. Oh. And then server manager popped up. Yeah, that, I need to fix that. Oh, uh, okay, let me just close so, all this stuff out. So, what are we doing now? Um, now, 
I'm going to restart it. Okay. Because I want to try to. Oops. Hold on. Microsoft, Microsoft Management Console. Oh, shush, I don't care. Ah, jeez. This thing's like. Desktop, list, okay. Apple 10, not selected. Boy, and I'm getting lots of messages here that I have to kind of fight against. Um. Desktop. To make the comment take now, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it again, and this time we're gonna try to boot off the the um, CD drive or not the CD drive the, the flash CD. drive. Yeah. Now of course I have to make sure I don't I don't try to boot off simple drive because that's. Simple drive is actually, well, no, that actually, well, that would actually produce an error anyway, because okay. that's, that's this drive, and that does not have a bootable operating system on it, that's just a storage drive, so that would definitely cause an error. <laughs> that, yeah, that doesn't So I think good. it works, I think I would, I just wasn't being patient, is I think what the problem is. Okay. Also, maybe it... Okay, F11 good. is BIOS boot manager. Alright, so we'll hit F11. Instead of F12? Um, is that part of it? Well, I think you have to hit F12 mm -hmm. and then hit mm -hmm. F11. Okay. You hit F12 to pop up the menu, and then you hit mm -hmm. F11 to give the one you want. F2 is system setup. F10 right. is system... I haven't played system with a lot of... services? Yeah. How did you know? I can read it. Okay, so I'll hit F11 now. Did, do we have the boot manager starting up it's again? It's still scrolling. Oh. You should lean back a little bit. I can like just see a tiny bit of your face on the camera. Oh. It's better now. That's alright, because I don't have anything on my face, so I don't really care. No, I thought this would be cool to go on YouTube too, actually, so this mm -hmm. is awesome. Alright, so what's happening now? It's initializing your remote access controller, which apparently takes a bit. Yeah. So now, did it already say hit F11 for... Yes, and you did, and it sort of looks like it responded to that. Because last time you hit it, and then it took like three minutes, and then the menu came up. Yeah, and see, that was what was confusing, because the, the last time we did this, I think, I think I would, like, honestly, I think I was exhausted, other people were exhausted, I think we were just all exhausted, so I wasn't really... Because with this stuff, you really have to pay attention to it, so... Yeah. I mean, it's harder because it's a server, be and you know, and so it's much harder for blind people with only a little bit of vision to be able to see what the menus are because so much crap scrolls through, you know, at, at the beginning of it. Yeah. You know, um, anybody at Dell watching this should really keep keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Do you have any solutions that you could suggest, like how actually to make it easier for you guys? Quite a few. What you got? We got like three minutes. You know, before the thing wakes up. Well, there are all PC, like all PCs and servers have a PC speaker. Okay. So you can get, so you know, you could put audio cues, you know, to cue blind people in. Right. Well, that would be kind of pointless. I mean, because this server didn't originally have a sound card, I had to. You're a boot manager. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Normal, hard, uh, one more down is the external. Six, so now you've, what's highlighted is back USB 6400 AAV external. Alright. Then that's the one we'll move mm -hmm. off of. I don't know why it's recognizing that. That's very strange. It shouldn't, I don't know why it's recognizing that as that, but. And it's waking up. It should be booting off this U this um, USB drive. Yeah, hopefully. Now, which one was simple drive? Is that another down? Uh. That was probably one more down. I would think. No, you selected the third option. I think simple drive was the second. I think it was the second option. I don't remember what the first one was. All right. So what's happening? It's thinking. Remember last time you were like, "What's going on?" I was like, "It's a black screen." For now. Oh well, yeah, right. That's what's going on again. Now of course we can hear that drive over there. Yeah, you can. 
You're at the log on screen. Why is that boot? See, look. What? That's not good. No? It booted to log on. Right. We told it to boot to the external. Right. Or to the USB drive, but it's not It's not booting to the USB drive. It's just booting to the... If it were booting to the USB drive, what would happen? Um, a, a Windows uh, pre-installation environment would come up and it would invite me to install Windows, which is what I'm trying to do on here. Mm. And it's not booting to the to the USB drive. Okay. Um, all right. You can turn this off because, guys, now now okay. you know what's happening. If anybody like, if anybody can explain to me why. how to properly to get this Windows thing Logan. to boot off of a USB drive, I would greatly appreciate it because I really need to. I really need this server to be able to boot properly off this USB drive. So if any of you guys, you know, Dell people out here or people who work with, uh, you know, Dell PowerEd models, if anyone has anything, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, and uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.